for Doctor Who series series one. Series season. Well, it's season twenty seven. Yeah. Last time we were in the past, we had Charles Dickens. Yes, of course we did, and, and ghostly creatures, which yeah. have which Gelf. forgotten. That. Gelf. Yeah, we learned a bit more about the Time War. A yes, little bit. yes, and who else might have been involved with the Gelf. Yeah. Any ideas about what you might think you know about this one? That was a very long way of saying that. But... <laughs> Name of the episode, Aliens in London or something? Okay. I think I might know the creatures themselves. The, okay. the aliens. Okay, what do you think they are? We need to be honest. Just be honest. Yeah, the slithing. Yep, okay. The the big green things. Okay. And they are in London, I guess. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, might, they probably want to take over the Earth or something. I don't know, we'll see. You just, yeah. re you just remember like what they look like and yes. what they're called, basically. Yeah, I don't remember story specifics. Okay. Okay, we're flashing back to the episodes already. It would have been a month, to be fair, ish. Right. But it hasn't been for us. No. An abandoned part of London. It's not abandoned. Well, this is where she lives. Empty. Oh, right. It's deserted. Yes. That's what I meant. Oh, perfect. Don't you disappear? <laughs> that would be funny if we did. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. <laughs> I'm off. Oh, I don't like that music. <laughs> well, I, I, it's not bad music, but it's... I know what you mean. Yes. <laughs> oh, was that rope? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> 12 hours or 12 <laughs> months? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, slight miscalculation then. It's not 12 hours, it's uh, 12 months. Ah! It's been a whole year. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a typical silly mistake that. <sighs> yeah, Tardis uh. is n not reliable still, and he still can't fly it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing it back to survival, Ace returns, after she's like been gone year. after a very long time, people are like, where have you been, your mum's been looking for you, you know, there's no... Well here we actually see the first hand effect. Oh yeah, yeah, it's brushed over a little bit in survival, but... Ugh. Uh, it's not the first time the TARDIS has been painted on either. No. When you say companion, is this a sexual relationship? No. Again. Then what is it? How old are you then? 40? 45? What'd you find her on the internet? Go on the internet. Stitch this, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that already got some serious family drama. With real, the companion as well. It's real yeah. consequences, you know. Yeah. This, in the classic series, this is just you know brushed the over. <laughs> they just decide to go around London and have some fun. A bit more realistic, this one. Yeah. Or they'd carefully avoid it by making the companion an orphan or something in the classic series. <laughs> Kill off anyone that might care about them. Like Nissa or Vicky or whatever. Exactly. Jibs. That's my age. You're 900 years old. Yeah. Well, that's what they're saying now. <laughs> yeah, that's the one we're going with for now. <laughs> <laughs> We've had 900 before though, so you know, who knows. Oh. Right, on cue. All right. <laughs> and a whole lot more people are going to know. You know what? That is not much worse than the 2004 Thunderbirds movie. So, not much worse. In, the effect, in terms of the effects. Oh my goodness. And I have a feeling it's going to be a lot better in terms of the story. <laughs> Yeah, so it will have been the year since the uh, the Auton outbreak. When... Yeah, so this is technically 2006, I guess. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit weird. Yeah, to think about. you know, it's just that the uh, mannequins have come alive, and now a year later, big spaceship. Unless it falls down a cliff or something. <laughs> it does do that. Yeah. It's got to be Ken Livingston, ain't it? <laughs> In the background. I don't know. There's a certain Quatermassy vibe to this, isn't there? 
You could say that, I guess, with like real news reports. Yeah, could have done that as well. You know, the war machines. <laughs> <laughs> Your issues don't matter right now. <laughs> oh, I uh, can't quite see it. I mean, it might not be. It could be just some kind of scientific creation. <laughs> Already. Still not showing us. It's a good mystery, at least, you know. <laughs> You'll be 15 minutes later. <laughs> yeah, I'm really intrigued about this plan. <laughs> okay, I think I know what might be happening. <laughs> yeah, a joke that very few people are in on. Had one or the one? Well, well Susan yeah. probably. Susan had one, didn't she? Yeah, but she was actual like family. Well, yes. Yeah, I suppose. An alien landing would kind of be yeah. for celebration. Yes, a little bit. For sure, people would do that. <laughs> ah, Nikki. Yes. Hello, ET. <laughs> yeah, how he's how has he been coping all this time? <laughs> yeah, we haven't we haven't actually seen this too much. Not a lot. No. no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nobody saw that. It's fine. No. Yeah. Too busy partying. I kind of have to say the colours match somewhat well. The the green and the, the yellow. Yeah. As opposed to just white. <laughs> yeah, Everything but like white. they could have chosen a combination that didn't seem so right. Yeah, the good designers. Yeah. Okay. Another one of these scenes. <laughs> the classic... It's a shame she's not watching Frankenstein in the background. Oh, that too, yes. <laughs> it's a similar colour poem. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> now he's commanding him. Well, have you noticed the badge they've got? Oh no, are they? It's hard to tell, but yeah. I think the unit. So. Yeah, we've got a unit. We've got unit. But they won't recognise the doctor. Yeah. Uh, they'll need to bring in some higher authority for that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not entirely what I was expecting, but okay. Perfect timing. Yeah, I think I'm noticing a theme. <laughs> oh, that... Not hair raising. Um, <laughs> that is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Victorian showmen used to draw the crowds by taking the skull of a cat, gluing it to a fish, and calling it a mermaid. <laughs> now someone's taken a pig, opened up its brain, stuck bits on. Wow. So it's a fake, a pretend, like the mermaid. You said it might not be an alien. 
when <laughs> I first well, landed. Well, okay, I might not have been entirely serious, <laughs> but you were right. <laughs> oh, oh, I suppose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Warriors. No. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, at least she gets to justify it. Huh? <laughs> 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 oh, that's just what you dare make this place domestic. <laughs> you ruined my life, Doctor. <laughs> there was specific protocol for the doctor. If it's unit, why yeah. wouldn't they? No, I suppose. Oh, I didn't really know if that would be unit or not. Yeah, I didn't realise if that was just like Downing Street or some other office, not even. Uh, it'd be unit that's controlling, you know, okay. if they look aliens, you know. I suppose. I suppose, yeah. Makes sense. What do you think? compression. Okay, that's that's pretty inventive, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, I've got to be honest, I didn't expect unit back so soon. Mm. In any capacity. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't think I've sat on my backside for 12 months, Doctor. I read up on you. Ah. Uh, you look deeper than on the internet. Or in the history of the course. Internet, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love how this is just like, wait, what? What's going on? <laughs> no, six Downing Street. I hate to say it, but Mickey was right. Oh, he nodded, and he was the biggest expert of the lot. Patrick Moore, apart from him. Oh, dang you, you're so I'm, I'm sorry, I don't get all these names. What was the Livingston <laughs> as well? And Patch. Patrick Moore's very famous for presenting the sky at night. Okay, astronomy, sure. Might not be a good idea, that. We could find it. We could use it. Oh! Uh. No, it's not free, for God's sake. This has gone beyond a joke. You cannot just wander. <laughs> no jokes. Eliminating shopping. What did they all have? The zips on the. Or like, adult. Under hair. Ah, the hair. <laughs> This is all about oh yeah, it's just him now. <laughs> well, yep, there it is. <sighs> They're all in danger. Yeah, I must say again, the horror vibes are much stronger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> are you one of them? Yeah. Oh damn it! <laughs> Oh my god. No! Oh, you. Oh. I'm gonna remember them. Indeed. Oh, there, the doctor went. Oh, yeah, that's it! That's it! That's the end of the episode. That's the end of the episode. Oh, it's a cliffhanger. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Just like the old days, we've got cliffhangers and well, Annoyingly, this has to be the next episode. I have to pause it because there's a trailer for the next episode. <laughs> yeah. It's like, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, at least you did. Which pause means we it. don't even get to hear the theme. I want to skip to the credits though, because I like Alright, alright, I'm credits. gonna look away and so, like, show a lot more of it, because yeah. Yeah, there'll be a l uh, yeah, there'll be a lot more people involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and it, it's kind of like the uh, Tong credits, the way it's like a circling... Thing yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely inspired by that. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, and they still credited Ron Grainer there. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay, so that was That's Aliens a... of London. Of London, I said in. Yes, okay. Yes, it was. What did you think? Wow. Uh, <laughs> another great episode. Yeah, did you like this one? I did. Excellent. I, I did, it was, yes. I, I did like it a lot. Um, uh, yeah, like, really come back to Earth. Yeah. You know, but really making it about Earth. Yeah, aliens, yeah, obviously, but mostly have repercussions for Rose being gone. Yeah, way too long. Yeah, with, in in Earth time. Yeah, which, yeah, is something that, as you said, is now actually being addressed. Mm. So, yeah, that's really interesting to see that. I think generally that was one of the biggest things about this was yeah. commotion surrounding things actually happening in. Instead of just the things themselves. Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. yeah. Aliens arriving or seeming to arrive and even the Doctor to a degree. Yeah, because he has been on Earth a long time and you would think that over that time you know, he would become a prominent person of interest. Like, uh, not just within unit or governments, but generally. Obviously we had the, um, the conspiracy theorists in the first episode of this. Yeah. So, to have an extension of that, and Mickey obviously said, I've been looking into you, and you know, all of this, you know, it, yeah, I like it. I like, I like all that. Yeah, Unit definitely have the Doctor on file, they've got a little file. You know, even in, in things like Battlefield, you're like, it's him, it's the Doctor, he's come back, you know? Mm. Um, this is a slightly larger scale, obviously. Um, yes. They seem to have set up automatic alerts now. <laughs> I <laughs> guess that comes doctor. with time. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you know, they've set up things like, it was TARDIS that found, that, that triggered the, of course. the Code 9, because it's the Ninth Doctor. <sighs> <laughs> It's just, it's just a nice touch to make things... I suppose it makes things more relatable mm. for people, Yeah, you know, who... Yeah, because the way they did it, uh, to show it like it was actual news reports and all that, that's familiar. Yeah. And so combining the familiar with the unfamiliar <laughs> is... Like, I mean, it, you know, it's simple stuff, but it works a long way. Yeah, and I have, like I mentioned, I have no doubt that that is inspired by... Uh, how how the by Quatermass the, the old Quatermass sci-fi and yeah it's it's that sort of began this kind of storytelling really yeah it's interesting that this Doctor Who has more in common with what came before Doctor Who yeah than Doctor Who itself yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quatermass was influential on much more than Doctor Who of but course most of sci-fi yeah uh, afterwards yeah what what about the some of the more the less serious parts of this episode. The Slitheen and the... Yeah. What do you think of them so far? Obviously we'll... Obviously we'll pick this up. Yeah, so... <laughs> it um, would be a little strange if we didn't. Yes, I didn't know about the Slitheen beforehand, but I'd forgotten about the um, concealed... Like, the, the disguise. The okay. disguise element, which is... Uh, yeah, it's definitely interesting, that. Yeah. Um, yeah, initially with the... Um, Biological humour. Yes. Uh, at first, it just kind of seems like, why is that there? You know, yeah. Doctor Who's never, not to my memory at least, it's never really had that. But it does somehow come through as a, as well, not as a theme, but as a as a sign of uh, you know specific characters <laughs> yeah. that might be that might be aliens. And obviously, the scene where they start laughing at the plan <laughs> or whatever. That yeah, that's when I, that's when I caught. Yeah, I I understand it. I understand what Russell T Davies was probably going for. Hmm. It's a bit too unsubtle for me. <laughs> I'm yeah. not a fan. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, and especially the the sound design, uh, if you can call it that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. The same sound. That's that's it. I guess we'll see how it. How it ends, how this story. Yes, uh, there's continues. more. It doesn't end here. Yeah, which back to is cliffhangers. Really they've kept them. Yeah. Not not every episode, obviously. No. But, um... no. Yeah, and one way that helped was the pacing. Yeah. It was it was less uh, it was less action packed than the yeah. previous episodes we've had. It, it does took build time. more to yeah. it. There's a mystery surrounding the aliens, mm -hmm. you know, just as a general thing. So, 
that's my favorite. That was a plus. That's my favorite thing I think about this format is these these um, the ones that aren't the single episodes because I, they do have time to actually build up more. Yeah. This is more of a pace that I like. Yeah, I think. Yeah, assuming this is gonna be that this is only gonna be a two part thing. Right. It's kind of like that brief uh, time in. Colin Baker's run. Yeah, where we'd have two parts. and That were each, like, 45 minutes. Yeah. It's so exactly yeah. like that, yeah. It's exactly like that. I was watching Modern Octoon before I knew it. <laughs> it ended on a very... On a very... Uh, a triple cliff. Thrill- yeah, a very thrilling note. Mm. It can be harder to, to judge this, you know, without having seen the next bit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm making you do it anyway, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's like saying, what's your favourite... <laughs> What would you give this first half of yeah. an episode? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess this way you get an opinion on this episode without being impacted by how it ends. Yeah. So if you really like this, but then it ends really badly, you, know, <laughs> you could give two different scores. That's an interesting idea, actually. Yeah. Judging something without knowing the ending. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> could be a really disappointing end. <laughs> uh, then maybe Mass Effect 3 would have gone differently. All right. Cool. Six from me, seven from you. Okay. Yeah. Not wildly different, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I did. No, I did. In, I did enjoy it. Yes. Cool. All right. We'll see you next time for the. Actually, I think I'm probably. So we need to discuss this. Actually, I don't know where I right. put this, Go but ahead. how I'm thinking about it is for things like this, I'll probably release these, this, and the next one we do together. Right. And there probably won't be Blake 7 that week, because we'll have two Doctor Who videos. Okay. I think that's how I'm going to do it. So, yeah. Sure. Fine. So, yeah. Okay. See you then. See you.